Hello everyone, and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we find, learn, and play one more turn of the great strategy games. And today we're going to jump back into our game of Distant Worlds 2, the TikTok Ascendancy Space Gerbils. We're going to go check out our, our fuzzy little fellas and see what they are up to. It is now the year 2768. Wow, it sounds like the future. Uh, we started in 2754, so we've gone about 14 years, and a lot has happened in 14 years. And if we get down here in our little corner of the galaxy, you can see the Tebru system. That is where we're set up. We've now found Mustafar. I, I hope that Darth Vader is not there. Uh, We'll see. <laughs> you can see we're jumping all over the galaxy. Here's some pirates, by the way. Uh, pirates, pirates, pirates. Yeah, the belligerent resistance. And then we have another one over here. The desperate aggressor. That's in the Sakaria system. Uh, over here, that's an independent colony. But here are our little teaks. And if we go in and down and over, we will see our two different colonies. One's over here. Um, I, I always, Ryoese, Ryoese is the name of that. And then we have our desert home moon here, uh, that is going around Tebru 4. This is our home moon, the Teak home moon, I called it. Uh, we've got a spaceport here and you can see a lot of activity happening, but we're going to look over all of it. Right now we're researching accurate point defense that will help in a lot of different ways. It'll help the defense of our ships. Uh, the civilian ships may also come in and refit with those. Uh, that'll make us some money right now. We're up to 46,000 in cash. If you've been watching all the episodes, we got a little low there for a while, but we're starting to build it back up. But let's just kind of go through all of our different screens here. You can see the 46,000 cash and the positive cash flow. We're also building quite a number of ships for our civilians. That's giving us bonus income. Colony approval plus seven. Okay, so that's good. We've got almost three billion teaks now. Uh, they are little replicators, and I like it. Um, if we look down here, just our different annual expenses, ship and base maintenance, that's always going to be your biggest expense, pretty much. Troop maintenance, we're at 1,800. We probably need some more troops, but we'll go look at our colonies. Uh, tribute paid, 1,500. We're paying off pirates. We're plus 595. The private economy is really looking nice. A lot of private cash flow, uh, private cash, 204000 We need to make more ships for them. Uh, if we look at our empire funding levels, you can see here, uh, you know, it's showing a little bit of red here. 1800 amount used is more than available. That's why. Uh, amount available, 1743 We want 1800 uh, So, okay. You know, we're a little bit under on ship maintenance. Now, the AI is constantly adjusting this. The problem is we just don't have a lot, you know, dripping through here to colony growth and research, which we want to get that as soon as possible, right? I mean, we want to build up our colonies. We want to research new things, and this just boosts those things up. We got to get that going. Uh, you can see exactly what you're spending on your maintenance. Okay, enough of that. Now then, diplomacy. We have run into the Baratsian Syndicate. And they are another uh, teak group. So these, you know, the teaks are everywhere, but this is a different empire. They're very pleased with us. We signed a non-aggressive, uh, non-aggression treaty. Great, right? I mean, eventually, if we're playing this game as the teaks and a mercantile guild, we want to get along with everybody that we can. Uh, and, you know, running into them first really helps. We sign this non-aggression. We'll sign trade deals with them. As a matter of fact, let's just see if we could sign a trade deal with them. Uh, it looks down, if you see down there, this faction can supply our resource shortages for certain luxury things. But I've got this on Befriend. So this means our empire is more likely to work towards mid-level treaties, migration, ter territory map. Um, actually... Can we go somewhere else with that? Uh, I'm just wondering if we could... I've got it on auto now. Let's turn it to manual. Let's try to make them an ally. Uh, now, what does this do? Well, it gives you certain suggestions from your advisors that will get you to alliance. Uh, how about a close ally, actually? I mean, they're teaks, for God's sakes. Let's do it. Um, okay, so I'm going to keep that on manual. Let's speak with them 
offer offer limited trade agreement what's that offer a free trade agreement sure we're traders okay well we're freely trading with them now um great great i mean that's that's exactly what we want we want to be as close to these little teaks as we can be plus 32 and i think we're just going to be free traders right let's try to trade with everybody that we can uh how about the pirates the Bascara raiders are now neutral with us because we're paying them off that's where that money's going the hidden syndicate which are some teak now these Bascarans really ripped us up they're a warlike uh race and I, we should have paid them off from the start we didn't it set us back a little bit okay that's fine uh hidden syndicate murder sun horde you know they're they're not happy with this well they're pirates uh, let's try to destroy them if we can our independent colonies the Sakarias here let's diplomacy leading to peaceful colonization i mean that's what we want eventually right if we speak with them offer a treaty no we've got a restricted trade agreement with them now uh that's good what is, let's just hover over this will it tell us exactly what that entails now it won't uh do, 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 do. they are neutral with us never mind negotiate a deal not nah, never mind send a gift what do they want oh that's right we uh we already sent them a gift recently okay see you guys later cool nice talking to you um ambassadors well uh edi nasiki is currently just sitting here right now, he's not very good at anything, <laughs> as you can see, because he's paranoid. Let's transfer him to a new location, though. Um, the Baratian Syndicate, right? So those are those other Teagues. The Bascara Raiders, the Secret End, okay. I, I don't... Is that what those pirates are called? Well, I don't know. I, I guess they are. Uh, Sakaria... Okay, so we're already okay with the Baratians. I, th I think we send him to Sakaria uh, and try to get these son of a guns to allow us to colonize their planet. Uh, spies, we've got spies. Now these guys on manual, uh, we could send them, could send him somewhere else. Uh, the Biscaran Raiders. Let's see if we could do something. Steel territory map, counterintelligence, deep cover. Love it. Assassination. Steal research information, 13%. I mean, they already don't like us. Can we sneak this little guy into a bunch of uh, hive mines? Well, I don't know. We're going to find out. Let's just do one. I think that sounds fun. I'm going to keep him on auto. So off you go, buddy. I think that's it for uh, diplomacy. Characters, uh, Queeky Odiki. You know I love my guy, Queeky Odiki. Uh, Eddie, Eddie, I'm going to call him Eddie. Eddie Nasiki. Uh, because it sounds like a good, uh, you know, mob name, Eddie Nasiki. Uh, he's going to, he's the guy going to Sakaria 2. Cargokel is on the first fleet. Dexhi lose it, lose it. He has been uh, winning battles, actually. And then we've got two researchers. I'm actually surprised we haven't gotten another scientist. I wish we would have. Uh, that's that. Okay, colonies. Now, Ryoese is costing us quite a bit. Let's go to the Teak Home Moon. And as you can see, this, the game's trying to build up all of these regiments. I don't want it to build this many regiments. Um, I just don't want to pay for them all. There's no reason for us to have that many regiments. Maybe, maybe five is okay, but I, I mean, having more than five seems like a real waste to me. How many do we have on Ryoes? Well, we have, we're going to have two. Now, we've been attacked on Ryoes many times at this point. Tico Moon, actually, I'm going to go down to four. I'm going to go down to four. Let's do that. Um, troop report. Defense strength. I don't want them to build any more troops. Why is that not allowing me to take that off automate? Ay, ay, ay. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Can we do it over here? Defense strength 620. Okay. I mean that's I think that's enough. That's enough. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna build any more of those. Um you can see here. Oh, maybe we could do it right up here. What's our tax rate right now? It's at 19%. That seems right. We're losing a lot to corruption. My gosh. But Queeky Odiki, that's kind of the one thing he's not good at. Um, Army template. 
Oh, we haven't looked at this exactly. No, uh, that's where we do it. Automate troop recruitment and garrison. That's what I was looking for. Auto automate tax rates. Okay, that all looks good. So development, we're up to 96% now. That's fantastic. Keep one, We want to keep building that. We've got our four regiments out here. We've got uh, Dexy Lose It. He's here. We're building all kinds of stuff. That is great as well. As a matter of fact, let's go to our construction queue. All right. Well, we'll do that over here when we get to building. So Tico Moon and then Raya Weez, we've got two. I also want to automate troop recruitment. So they're not just recruiting regiment after regiment. Two, I think, should be enough. He has got 0% right now. So he's building 99% uh, here. So you could see that on the other thing. Um, construction, we're building here. Fantastic. The Humble Pride, that's a mining ship. We do, yeah, let's just go beyond that. New colonies, Sakaria 2, Quiltus 1. Those are the only two places we could colonize. Uh, neither one are a place we want to colonize right now. We have no colony ships, planetary facilities, artifacts, okay? Exploration ships, and these guys are just out everywhere, and that's great. S uh, Scout the Dark Snare, what is that? Um, oh, I think that's like a special thing that we found. Where is that, though? Let's try that again. Yeah, well, what are we lost? It, lost in a dark snare. What is this? Oh, that's the Gravelix. So we're right near a black hole. That's what's going on. Look at that. That's kind of cool. And another Gravelix. Oh, look at them trying to get over here by the... Uh, let's double click on you. Hard to see him. He's like down into the black hole. Maybe that's why we can't get to him. Uh, I have a feeling this is what it's showing. Yeah, the humble humble, <laughs> humble bargain is under attack by Gravelix, Red Giant, at Dark Snare. Where is Dark Snare? It's back up. Oh, it's right there. So there's a big black hole right there. That's really cool. It's the kind of stuff I really like about this game. Uh, okay, well, that's kind of fun. Um, I've got all of these on just automated. You know, let them run around, see what they can find. You can see all of the different known ruins, abandoned bases. The Mahala Station. Uh, let's go to the Mahala Station. Now, we just uh, rebuilt this, right? This is out at Maradon. Is that right? Okay. Uh, we don't know a whole lot about it. Repair and investigate. Yeah, it doesn't need fixed, all right? So we're going to have to learn more about that. Special locations, nothing. All right, resources, were we looking good? Let's see where we have a shortage. Mining rate, lowest, highest, stockpile, priority price, demand. Well, let's go to demand highest because I know Caslon going to be light. And we're still light there. We're just not mining it as fast. We have not found much Caslon. And it is the universal f fuel in this game. We've got to find more of it. I talk about it every episode, it seems like, but it is truly that important. So uh, this is cool, though. This is Mahala Station. Uh, I think we... Oh, that's right. It's infected. I remember this now. Uh, right. Well, we'll deal with that as the episode goes along. Uh, we've got a spaceport that we rebuilt here. Its build speed is 3.75. It's not quite as fast as our home moon. It's certainly not as fast as Ryoese, which really builds things quickly, it seems. Um, and it, on the Tikal moon, we're not building anything there. Let's go ahead and go to the build queue here. We can now build bigger mining ships, and we make money for these. Uh, fuel tankers, frigates, those are you know, better defensive craft than our escorts. You can see build escort eight. We're now on our eighth different template for escorts. So uh, the game keeps upgrading as we do things. And now you can see we research colony ships. So that's exciting. And uh, construction ships, exploration ships. I feel like, you know, we could do some more exploration ships, certainly. You know, there's probably no, like, limit to how many would be good as long as you still have stars to go to. That being said, I don't want to get too crazy. I think I will build some more mining ships 
And as I said, we make money for that. And so I'm just going to build a lot of them. Why not? Uh, and how does that work? Well, you may say, why don't you just build them forever? It's not a bad point, but really that'll come out of the private economy, right? So this was 224000 As I add that, the private economy, private cash goes down. I think I'll also build another fuel tanker potentially. Uh, sure, let's do that. Uh, but we're miners. That's what we want to do. And as a matter of fact, if we look up here, we've got fast mining next. Exploration scanners, these would be better scanners for us. 290 days and we can crash it for, well, 15,000. It's getting really expensive to do that. But exploration scanners, basic transport systems. So this would be troop compartments. We're not able to carry troops around yet. And passenger compartments. Why would we want that? Well, uh, tourism, for one thing. Um, let's just put it out there for now, because I'm just kind of curious what kind of stuff's coming up here. I'm not going to pay for that. Uh, we'll come back to this. Accurate point defense will take a little bit. Fast mining. I actually want to put exploration scanners up here. Let's do that. And uh, you know what? Let's go to the warp drives and look at this really quickly. 12.3 years to go hyperdrive. How far could we go? 140 million. Here we're, all, we're at 120 million. So it's not like that's gonna take us a whole hell of a lot further. We've gotta get other colonies, you know, where we can jump. Cause we're, you know, at some point here, we're gonna get everything explored as far out as we can jump. Under attack, we already looked at that. A uh, treaty offer. The Baratsians want us to pay them. Of course they do. What is this? A hundred restricted trade agreement? Oh. Oh, that's the Baratsians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already agreed to that. Okay. I was thinking it was the pirates, but it is not. We already agreed to it. We already accepted your treaty. Um, yeah, so they're friendly with us. Uh, back to the task at hand, though. Kazlon, we're short on. Everything else, we're looking pretty good for things we need. Here are all of our mining locations now, and there are a lot of them. New mining locations. We're right out at a nerdy. There we go. That's what we needed. Uh, and you can see when we hover over this, it'll show you the exact star where that's happening. So out at a nerdy, we will be getting some more Kazlon. Thank goodness. Krypton. Okay, that all looks good. And then if we look down the list here, Suckeria 3, we definitely want to build a mining station there because it's got 54% of something. You see all of this Mebnar and steel. You will find Mebnar and steel everywhere. I don't see any place on here that's particularly enticing, uh, but 54% silicon, we definitely will build there. Mining ships, these are all civilians, right? And so he's going out to Tebru 4. Kazlon, get everybody going to to uh, Tebru 4 we can. That's kind of the big star right next to, or the big planet right next to us. Fuel tankers, I'm going to turn these on fully automated, and I'll tell you why. I, I just don't know how to use them best yet. Um, and I, I'm sure some of you are like, we'll do X, Y, or Z. I just don't know yet. Uh, exactly what I should be doing with these. So, and you can see here, this one's assigned to the first fleet and it carried Kazlon along with it in case our first fleet needs to uh, refuel. Okay, construction yards. We already talked about all these mining ships that we're gonna build. We may as well build some more, you know? Why not? Why not? And you can see this spaceport can't build anything. It's not... Um, it's not set up for it yet. Tico Moon, we could build some more stuff here potentially. That's 3.3. .3. This is 3. Point, well, the, the whole moon itself is actually faster. So why don't we build more mining ships? I want all the mining ships we can get without absolutely crushing the civilian economy. I think that's the way to go there. Uh, construction ships, okay. We have only five of them which i would say in the first game distant worlds universe would seem very very light we should have more oh by the way if you hover over these it'll show you exactly where they're going 
right? So this is going to go out to Meridon to a nerdy where we found that Caslon. This has no mission. Quilt is three. You know, you can always see where they're headed. Uh, this again is kind of a bulk build and I'm not going to do that now. Um, five seems light, but, but we just haven't explored as much as I would like to. So I, I'm going to leave that as is. Teb Tebru 7 Research, okay, and then the Spaceport. That's why I wanted to rebuild this, because you can see the research output that we have at these places, and we need to, we need more scientists, but I mean, we're not in charge of creating those, though. Uh, new research locations, where would we get bonuses? That's where you can build research labs, right? Research bonus amounts. You can see, you could come here, and very, very quickly see construction research. So, you know, when we go to what we're going to research, construction type things are the kind of things we really want to, you know, focus on because that's certainly the best uh, thing, the thing that we're best at by far. We've got the two scientists, one's at Tebru 4, one's at Tebru 2. That's fine. Uh, we could have a, we have a maximum potential of 150. Unfortunately, we don't have that money falling through to this. Okay, we've got, uh, here are all of our defensive ships. Okay, these are the fuel tankers. I was trying to figure out what they were doing. Uh, everything else pretty much is in first fleet, except I did keep a couple things and create a second fleet. You see the second fleet right there, one, two, three. That is, yeah, okay. So if we go to our fleets, you can see second fleet's not very strong, but it does have a hig, uh, frigate in it. Attack Supreme Hydra. Okay, that's what we were trying to do when we left off last time. Uh, out by the Sakaria 4 mining station, you can see this thing got really hurt. We Oh, that reminds me. Then we had this construction ship that had no mission. Let's send it here to fix this. There we go. Okay. Um, see a cargo container. So we're out here near Sakaria 4, but where is his... Where are the pirates? Um, Okay, well, we got them out here, so they have jumped over here, and I've got them to, you know, they're going to be looking to defend that system. Uh, science, we'll just look at this very quickly as far as research goes, and I want to go just down. Early pulse weapons, that's something we don't have yet. That would only take 144 days. That might be something we want to go to. We're up here in accurate point defense. What is this... Full length beams, damage three, uh, but they're really, you know, to put on your ships to shoot down torpedoes that are coming after you. Constant beam weapons, okay, ion weapons, heavy ion weapons, area weapons, okay, it's just amazing uh, how much we've got tractor beams. I didn't realize we had tractor beams, but I think we got that automatically. Uh, missile weapons. Well, we haven't done anything like that yet. Something to think about. You know, of course, we want to do the trading, but we've got to be able to defend our trading routes. That's what it comes all down to. Uh, ablative energy shields. We'll spend more time with this as we get a little further into the game. Uh, obviously, enhanced ships. This would also give us the large mining ship here. Something to think about. That's 6.98 years. What's the crash cost? 80,000 credits. You uh, criminals out here. Expanded space stations. Okay, large mining station. And this is where you would get the resort station. Space construction. Uh, Well, we've already got small a small spaceport. But we're not able to build more of them, right? I mean, we f we got one initially. We found another one. But we're not able to build them right now. Fast mining. I really want this one, man. Uh, mining rate 45 per second. Here, I think we're at 30 per second. Yep. We sure are. Enhanced energy collection. My goodness. 
I want it all. I want it all. Basic countermeasures. Oh, man, this looks nice. We got basic colonization. We just finished that one. Storage systems we may have to get into here. Well, we'll do that when we get done with accurate point def defense. Let's get the game going and just see what's going to happen here. Get off that. Under attack. Small freighter is under attack. Show me. Oh. Get out of there, man. This is right over the top of this planet. You can see we've got a lot of freighters coming in here. You know, we're not going to be able... Look at that. Nobea 6. Okay. I don't really see... Oh, no. We've got a missing explorer. The evidence is overwhelming. The virus has contaminated our explorers. It has warped their minds, made them violent and ravenous. They have become untaken. We have no choice but to stop them before they spread their madness to the rest of our population. Oh, gosh. The Mahala Station. This is the dusty interlude, the surveyor. That got infected. Okay, well, I mean, how do how am I supposed to stop them? I don't know. I guess we're going to have to shoot this out of the sky. Under attack. Okay, we hit play again. Can he get out of here? Oh, you can see we've got all kinds of little uh, drones coming in and out here. He's getting out of here. Escape from here. That's, <laughs> that's his uh, uh, show me. We are now under attack out by Tebru. Okay, let's pause this. Where exactly are we? Show me. All right. Oh, this is near Sakaria. Aha, we've got our whole fleet here. And we've got we've got a beat on him. This is what I wanted to happen is that we jumped him with our whole fleet. Attack the Upper Vigilance. Is that what that's called? I hope. Yep, that's what it's called. What do they want us to build here? They want us to build one exploration ship and five frigates for 24000 I'm going to decline that, and I'll go build three frigates. How about that? Um, so let's go over to our construction yards here. You can see all of the freighters and whatnot. Our civilians are really cranking now. Uh, at Ryoese, I guess we could build fuel tanker, mining ship, frigate. This is now frigate three. So this is going to be pretty dang good. Let's build one, two, three. Okay. And when they come out, I want them to go into fleet two. Or, well, I want two of them to go into fleet two and one to go into fleet one. How about that? Uh, we're just under attack everywhere, which, you know, keeps the game interesting, right? But this is the main place I want to focus on right now. Let's just get rid of a bunch of this stuff. Well, I don't want to get rid of it all. What about this? Oh, that's... Oh, okay. Same same location. So let's see what we can do. There's the pirate. Woo, look at that fireball. Is he... That, did he shoot at us or we shoot at him? I don't know. We're about to find out. Oh, he shot at us. Look at the fireball going out. That's the Tebru Invader. It's an escort. But I've got all of our ships now coming towards him. I hope. Get over there. Oh, did you see him just shoot the... You know, that's what point defense does. Boom. We're starting to work down on his... Okay, let's pause this. This is a problem I've had with this game, and I'm not... The problem is... Okay, he, we've got another... Sh pirate over here is I find that a lot of times you have to go in here and individually give them orders even though I've got it on fleet command right uh, okay so all these guys are going there we have some guys going uh, to the second one so we've got two here man it'd be nice to destroy both of these let's see if we can get it done I feel like the fleets don't coordinate as well as I would like them to, okay? I, and I'm not saying necessarily it's the game's fault. Maybe I'm not doing something correctly, but I don't think that's the case necessarily. All right, pause. He jumped out of here. 
he's out. Now, where is this other pirate? What are you up to? I love how they look like sharks. <laughs> Space sharks. Okay, you're going there. This is the Prime Demolisher. This is our flagship. So now the way I feel like this should work is when you tell the flagship to go after something, that should give orders to all of these to go after it, right? I mean, I feel like that's how it should work, but it's not quite working that way. Um, Cause they're all in his fleet. So now I'm gonna have to go through here and individually, and he's probably just gonna jump out of here anyway. There we go. Make sure these guys are headed over there. You are, you are. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world if you, you know, want to do this, but I can imagine a space battle later where there's 500 ships involved. I'm not sure, and maybe I'll want to micromanage it like this, but I, I'm not sure if that's doable. Uh, come on, there we go. You're on the way. Make sure everybody's going over there because he's going to, you know, his individual ship is stronger than any of our individual ships, but all of ours together should be enough. We're under attack at Tebru 3. Gosh darn it. All right, now we're all moving over here. I actually want to, while this is going on, I'm going to see what's happening here. Now, see, our mining station can shoot back. It's not like it's defenseless. Let's get around on the other side of this world. You can see all of our drones going down to mine the planet. I always think that's cool. All right, I think he jumped out of here. I don't think he completely, you know, did he hurt this at all? Not really. Nope, got out of here. It's got Kazian crystals on board. Unknown items detected at a nerdy. Now this this place is looking great. I mean, this is like the third or fourth thing that we found it found out here at a nerdy. Uh, okay, well we're just gonna have to wait till we get better sensors to figure out what it is. Dismiss. All right, on we go. That dark snare, wow, those two Gravelixes have quite a bit a, of strength there. Man, Bratzian is just... Oh, well, actually, they're out here on the very edge, which is too bad for them, really. What a terrible starting position. Uh, we may as well make friends with them. Okay, we've got accurate defense, accurate point defense. Uh, excellent. Let's pause. Then exploration scanners. How much is this going to cost us to crash it? I think I said 15,000, right? 14,780. It's going to save us 100 days? Does that make sense to like spend that much? I I mean, we've got the money to do it. I'm I'm not going to No, I don't think it's worth that. I want those scanners on here now though. All right, let's go back to the first fleet and see what's going on with these clowns. Uh, do, 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 do. I was just looking, trying to think if there's something else. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, look at this. We got this guy surrounded. I love it. They want us to build more ships. Exploration and frigate. I'm going to decline it. We've got him totally surrounded. Uh, I wish they'd put the tractor beam on him. Let's pull him in and see what's going on. I guess I've got two ships out here that are disabled, by the way. The Worthy Cataclysm? Uh, that's our fuel ship. Oh, he jumped out of here. Okay. Uh, okay. I was like, uh, where'd he go? I thought we had our something surrounded, but it was actually our own fuel ship. I'm going to leave them out here, I think. I mean, uh, ultimately... Or, well, I could have them top up the fleet. I've got new defend fleet. Okay. 
Oh, wait a minute. They're flying in here. That looked like pirates coming in. Yep, here they come. Nope, that's our own escort. The insidious fate? No, it's not. That is pirates. That's what I thought. Uh, Tebru 3 mining station under attack again. Okay, let's pause. Now, what kind of strength does he have? Insidious fate? 40. Well, let's go d destroy this thing, guys. Oh, there's another one over here. All right, hold on, hold on. I'm going to pause it. All right, I'm back. I just had to take stock of the situation really quickly. You can see our forces here. Two pirates inbound, uh, and our fleet is starting to react to them. We're also, uh, the Tebru 3 mining station is under attack yet again. I'd like to see here. Man, it'd be nice if this escort took off. Let's hold on. The escort, the angry protector. Okay, that's what we're watching right now. Assign a mission. Uh, okay, we'll build another mining station there if they really want us to. Sakaria 4 being attacked. Under attack, Tebru 3. I mean, lots of attacks going on. He's a 40. We're a 43. So we actually should be able to hold our own a little bit here. I mean, it, in some respects, it you know, depends what the weapons are. Uh, but our other guys are moving out to engage here. You need to engage there. Oh, is that the fuel tanker? No, that's an escort. Oh, it was disabled. Got it. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Assign mission. Sure. We'll build some more mining stations. We've got a really nice cash flow right now. So maybe, oh, as a matter of fact, let's go look and see if we've now built those frigates. We have. Let's put you in. Nope, he's in second fleet. Got it. Okay. So this is a frigate. This is a frigate. It's still under construction though. This is disabled. I wish there was a button to automatically go out and repair those things, uh, but there isn't. Okay. So these are the frigates that we're building. This is an escort, but he's hurt. Auto him. Fully automate. Attack shirt defiance. Yeah, see some of these flipped over. Uh, when I give when you give them a manual order, they flip over to manual. The Knight of Tebru. He's got no mission right now. He's going to go through the planet. God, I hope he doesn't. Well, maybe I hope he does. Um, actually, I'll put all these on auto and see how they do. Whoops. Ah! Auto. Auto. Play. Now, see, they had... This had jumped way over here because uh, there's another attack happening over here. <laughs> so now uh, that pirate seems to have taken off. So now these guys ought to automatically jump back over here. But we haven't really seen that yet. We got him in bad shape, though. Surrounded. We've got other things jumping over. Oh, that's cool. He's got like a little space gun. We're shooting at him from back over here. The Tebru invader. He's like, ah, we'll stay away. Oh, uh, is he going to try to get out of here and jump? Yeah, he's jumping. He's jumping out. All right, let's go to the first fleet.
The Sucaria 4 mining station has been raided. 756 Argon. Like, eh, okay. Not that upset about it. Now we're going after this guy, the Insidious Fate. He's got, he, now he's going to jump the heck out of here. As our entire fleet starts to come over. All right, let's make sure with the first fleet, we have an escort. It's now under attack. Oh, now there's more, even more showing up. Uh, but let's make sure we've got these tactics the way I want the defend. Okay, same system. Attack stance cautious, formation normal. Let's just make this neutral. Use fleet tactics, same system. Weaker, okay, Nobo Nobe of Five is now under attack as well. I mean, there are just pirates crawling all over the place. Uh, but we don't really have a strong enough military, you know, to jump around everywhere here. Strength 85, their strength is like 200, I would imagine. Can I select on him or not? There we go. Yeah, 227. So he's going to try to take out that mining station, certainly. But usually they just raid it. Three frigates and exploration, fine. Let's do more frigates. The game's just dying for us to do more frigates because we need more defense. Yaturus 2, we have discovered Sakali and Brandy. Nice. All right, scanners have now been completed. Cool. And we found this, show me, done. And let's go here. So I've got it on fast mining. Uh, we already paid the 2,000 credits to get going. Initiate program for 58,000 credits. We're at 69,000, but we have a positive cash flow. I think it may be worth it because this is something, once we get this, it's going to create so much damn money. I'm going to do it. Let's pay the costs and get this done. Now it's only going to take 2.35 years. I just feel like we're going to make a lot of money off of that. All right, construction, ship construct. You can see the civilians really want our ships. Uh, we are going to build a couple of fr or three frigates. We just need them. And I guess I'm going to, you know, eventually have two full fleets right now. We'll see. Civilian ships under construction, though, 35. That's awesome. Uh, let's go to resources and new mining locations because I feel like we just Yeah, this is what just got destroyed which is not good because it's got Kazlon. Oh speaking of which Let's go to There we go. I was like, where in the heck is it? Yeah, we're still light because that uh, research station got hit. Let's see where else we have new mining locations that might be interesting. Oh, another. They have already built a mining station at Mostafar 3. Interesting. Uh, another empire. Let's go to a nerdy. Because that was looking good. Now, who the heck built here? Well, they're saying Mahala Station. Oh, that was another empire. Interesting. Okay, uh, that's cool. Well, those are two really good locations. Um, who built it? Mo Mostafar 3. I bet you it's those other Teaks. Nope. It's uh, the Baskaran Raiders. Oh, okay. They're out of the Mostafar system. Interesting. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to call this an episode. I'm going to make one directly after this. I just don't want these to go on too long uh, because there's a lot going on. Hey, we made it one whole year. Anyway, this has been... I love this game. I think it's great, uh, but I want to know more about it. Before I make certain decisions, I don't want to you know, make a bad decision, but that's where the Baskaran Raiders are now. Uh, Nabaya, I got to go down here and check out what's happening there. You've got to, you can see here that's Maradon. That is, is that pirates? Well, I don't know. We'll talk about it next time. We got to get out to more stars. We've got all kinds of, uh, 
pirate <laughs> infestation. We'll deal with that all next time. This has been Strategy Gaming Dojo. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll talk to you next time. Have a good one.